And so I find myself at the train station holding my suitcase. Amu and Noel are by my side, and Himawari too, clutched in Noel's arms. They've come to say goodbye. I thought that my grandparents would come as well, but they declined. They said something silly about how if I'd been on a date with Noel, then I wouldn't want them getting in the way of my farewell with my girlfriend. Just thinking about it makes my face go red. I felt like I boiled a radish. Why is Amu such a blabbermouth? Hi, Chan. I'll miss you. Ah. I look at Amu in surprise. I didn't expect her to be so honest. But even though it is a surprise, I am happy. Just a little. <laughs> it is nice to know you care. Of course I care. You're one of my best friends. Amu's open honesty continues to catch me off guard, even though I've begun to expect it. I feel awkward, and I'm not sure what to do with my arms. I let them hang limply, feeling foolish. Yeah, you too. You're a really good friend. Even if she is a blabbermouth, I still care about her. How could I not? I have known her since I was three years old. <laughs> I'm happy, but I don't know. It feels a little lacking. Lacking? Yeah. I thought this final farewell would be more dramatic, you know? Like in those cute girls manga where two characters have a super tearful farewell scene at the train station and it's all dark and gloomy. And the guy's all like, I can't live without you, Sachiko. Please come back to me. <laughs> and Sachiko is like, I'm sorry, Kenta, but I can't stay with you, even though I love you. <laughs> I wanted something like that. But why Sachiko? Ah. Amu shrugs. I just like that name. There's no deeper meaning. I see. I just wanted to have more drama. Everything about this seems, seems perfect. It'll be a missed opportunity if we don't seize upon it. I mean, I'll never see anything exciting in real life, so when the chance presents itself, I need to make the most of it. I need to aim for maximum audience immersion. <laughs> You're going to become an actress? One can dream. You've got to risk big to win big. Oh, how impressive. No, don't be foolish by her, Noel. Just talking nonsense. And yet, even though Amu and I are bickering playfully like this, I'm not quite buying it. Amu's voice sounds slightly too forced, a little unnatural. I've known Amu for too long. I can tell when she's telling the truth, and this isn't one of those times. She's probably a little sad. Sad that I'm leaving. I can sense as such as much in her smile. Maybe she's just trying to lessen the tension. She wants to cheer us up. But I don't want to interrogate her. Not now. Not when I'm trying not when she's trying so hard to be cheerful. Poking into her business too much at this point would just be selfish. All I can do is play along. Time passes. When I look at my watch, I realize I have only 10 minutes left until my train departs. That's hardly any time at all. How did it go by so quickly? It seems like only yesterday that I met with my grandparents out here, at the very beginning of my visit. Evening has well and truly have descended now. My surroundings are dark, the sky tinged steely blue. The bench, sitting in the corner of the station, looks strangely sad and lonesome, completely isolated without a single friend. 
I guess that bench could serve as a metaphor for this whole village. Lonely, surrounded by trees and forests, cut off from the rest of society. And yet, it is in this small, secluded space, free from outside interference, that people like Noel and I can thrive. But despite this, we can't stay here forever. Times move on, and all things change. We've both been uprooted from our homes, forced to relocate somewhere else. I have to go back to the city, seven hours away, and Noel has to go to England. This village, where all our childhood memories were made, will no longer be our home. The memories, however, won't fade away. They'll stay inside my mind forever. I don't want to forget. Acha. Noelle is tugging at my sleeve. She stares up at me with an unreadable expression on her face, one that I cannot fathom. Yes? What is it? You only have five minutes. What? Really? Noelle nods her head. Ah, uh, I, I had no idea. You should hurry up. You might miss the train. Yeah. Good point. I wouldn't want to do that. And yet, even though I say that, deep down inside, my feelings are quite different. I don't want to leave. I already had to leave once. Now that it feels like it's happening all over again. Saying goodbye to my friends the first time was hard enough. So hard, in fact, I was unable to do it properly. But having it happen twice? Isn't that cruel? Isn't that unfair? Why should I be torn away from my best friends, my old life, once more, just because my parents, without consulting me, decided to move? What about Noelle? She was always so quiet, so shy, so unsure. Doesn't she need me? Does she? I look at Noelle's face. It's filled with a quiet determination, the sort of which I've never seen before. Her eyes look harder, filled with life, like a sunflower. I'm sure she'll be able to grow proud and tall, no matter what circumstances she finds herself in. I look at her. And I know, I know she'll be fine. No matter what happens, she can keep going. She has that kind of strength buried deep down inside. I might not be obvious at, the, at a glance, but I know. Noelle is stronger than anybody. She doesn't need to protect her. And she doesn't need me to protect her. She's more than capable of doing that herself. That is more than enough to make me happy. It would be greedy of me to ask for more. I can't hang around here forever. I have a house to return to, and my parents. Maybe a freshly cooked meal on the table, too. Though it's more likely my mother will just give me cold leftovers from dinner and tell me to heat it up in a microwave. I have a new school and new friends, Saki, Miho, and Yuna. I have a whole new life, and they're the ones that share it. My life has changed. It isn't the same anymore. It's about time I realized this. I can't keep dwelling on the past forever. It isn't healthy. I need to find my own strength, the strength to move on using my own power. Noel's courage has given me hope. If she can do it, then I can too. I must. This time, I won't run away. I'm tired of being a coward. This time, I'm going to say goodbye properly.
I stand on the platform underneath the evening sky. Everything looks dark, dull, and murky. My surroundings have lost their color. Even Amu's hair looks strangely gray, less pink than usual. I feel as though, in this strange, melancholy world, maybe there are no people, only shadows. My train is here. I should get going. Hey, I... I... I tried to say it, but it's useless. The words catch in my throat, choking me. I can't say it. My mouth won't let me say it. I told myself I would do it properly this time, but it really is painful. Luckily, Amu takes pity on me. She offers me a large smile, though it seems slightly more restrained than usual, and pats me on the shoulder. For once, she does it gently, in a manner that doesn't leave me doubled over, wincing in pain. That's okay. I'll miss you too, Achan. Amu. Amu diverts her gaze away from me for a few moments. She looks kind of shifty. Why isn't she looking me into my eyes? <laughs> not that I'm being all mushy or anything. Uh, of course not. It is you, after all. <laughs> it's true, it's true. I'm not a sentimental type of gal. So she says, but... Is that really true? Maybe I'm reading into it too much. Amu is my childhood friend, that's all. Rather, I'll miss be able to make fun of you. That's all, really. <laughs> and she giggles. Her typical devilish giggle. I smile, shaking my head. You monster. Yes, I am. And this monster thinks you better get on the train before it leaves. Ah! That might be a good idea. I turn, looking back at the train. I don't have that long left, do I? But there's one more thing I need to say before I go. Just one. Noelle. Yes? Noelle looks up at me, eyes wide, staring. She's holding Himawari to her chest, clutching her tightly. Noelle will be fine. I'm sure she'll be fine, no matter where life takes her or what happens in the future. I'm not afraid. This time. I'm not afraid of leaving. Because I've learned. I've learned to have faith in my friends. I think. That is what true friendship is. Even if we're not together, we'll always be friends. I won't forget this time. I'll write letters to you. I promise. I'll write, write lots and lots of letters. I... I... I don't want to abandon you again. Noelle looks at me. Seems to look right through me. And then, after a while, she smiles. A soft, gentle smile. Thank you, Acha. I'll make sure I reply to them. You. Another pause. A gust of wind blows through the platform. I shiver, digging my hands deep into my pockets, but Noelle doesn't flinch. Her arms and legs are exposed, bared to the elements. Her pale, milky white skin has turned red from the cold. Despite this, she doesn't even shiver. In this cold, dark place, Noelle smiles. It's a smile that exudes light like a firefly, filled with tentative hope. You really are my best friend. Oh, man. Huh. Huh. Well, looks like that's another ending. Yeah. Uh... 
always for the hope for the next one, I guess. That was an alright one, though. That wasn't too bad. Yeah, that's more... It's a lot better than that. That's one. more cheery than this time. And it has actual subtitles... I mean, not subtitles. Credits here, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we didn't just get a bam, you're done. So this is a more... Uh, a better actual ending. ending? A more actual ending, yeah. So... I guess what the choices that we've made up to this point, those are the two things we got. So, I looks like we'll probably just have to start all over and do different choices yep, to hopefully find a different yeah. route of story progression. And hopefully, hopefully, maybe, I don't know, maybe Suzumi will think better of us. Or Achan. I just want something to develop relationship-wise between them before he leaves. Like, I know it's only three days, but like... Admit your feelings early on, and actually get something going. That'd be great. Yeah, I'd yeah. be really happy. Yeah, it would. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! So oh my god! <laughs> I was expecting that. Look at her feet. Oh. Damn! Wow, that that, uh, is, that is adorable. Can't just spring that on somebody. Ooh, we what, have what's this? Ooh, okay. I stare up at the night sky, my eyes wide. There are so many tears, and they are all so beautiful, twinkling away above my head like sugar sprinkled across a tablecloth. I don't know if I've ever appreciated just how pretty they are before. Amu doesn't care about the stars. She's more interested in things such as she can gr catch or grab on or jump over. You can't do any of those things with the stars. You can't even touch them. So she isn't interested. Maybe I can appreciate them more now because I'm with her. Noelle. Huh? I'm having a moment. <laughs> Let's what? Let's go back, by the way. Oh, okay, I want to know okay, what happened. Okay. <laughs> Doesn't it make you feel small? What does? All the stars. Silence. Whoa, what? Maybe I'm... it's a flashback. I look at Noelle. She's lying beside me, staring up at the sky. Her skin looks even paler than usual under the light of the moon. Amu's skin isn't like that. It's tanned, a caramel bronze color formed from flaying outside too much. My skin is probably the same. It's not like Noelle's. Is it because she came from the city? Maybe the sun over there is muted. Intercepted by all the tall, tall buildings that reach up into the sky. I don't know. More silence. There's always silence when I'm with Noel, but I don't dislike it. If anything, I find it reassuring. Not really. I frown. But there are so many stars. And they're all so far away. It makes the world feel big. Really, really big. But I'm only little... <laughs> well, that is true. You are only little. Hey, th that's not fair. I'm a growing boy. And I'll get taller one day, you'll see. That's the spirit. It's good to have faith in yourself. Y you're just making fun of me. I am not. Honest. I was impressed. R really? Yes. Even though it's probably impossible for you to get taller, you're still doing your best. It's impressive. Wow. Even Noelle teases me. I thought she was going to be different from Amu, but she can be mean too. What is it about me that makes people want to make fun of me anyway? Well, I'll show you. I'm going to eat a lot of breakfast every morning. And I'm going to drink a glass of milk after every meal, and I'll ride my bike a whole lot. That way, I'll get taller. I'll... I, I definitely, definitely will. 
How admirable. Do you want me to write a wish for you on the Tanabata too? Huh? What do you mean? I mean, I'll write something like, I wish Hatka Achan will get taller and tie it to the bamboo tree. Maybe Orihime and Hikaboshi will hear your wish and it will be granted. Well, um... I look away from the well, blushing. Which one is Orihime and which one is Hikoboshi anyway? I think they have other names. Altair. And Vega? I don't know. Maybe that's rude. I've been writing wishes to them every year, but I can't even point them out in the night sky. Isn't that sad? Isn't it lonely? I wouldn't like being lost all the way up there. The stars look a lot like fireflies, but they're so far away. I wouldn't be able to brush them with the tips of my fingers even if I did get taller. You don't need to make a wish for me. That isn't fair. Why isn't it? Be because that wish belongs to you. You should wish for something you want, not something I want. Do you really think so? Yes. There are a lot of things you want too, right? Hmm. Not really. Nothing at all? Well, there is one thing. W what is it? I want you to be happy. That's all. Ah, uh, it is that really true? She wants me to be happy? My face feels hot. Even Noel, Noel is my friend. She, she's still a girl, and hearing a girl say something like that is a little. Acha, are you alright? I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I, I was just, um, I was just wondering if you knew the name of any of the stars. The names? Y yes. Like, there's Orihime and Hikoboshi. That's Altair and Vega, right? I think so. But what about the other stars? Don't they have names too? Hmm. Well, I think they do, but I don't know any of them. You don't? No. I'm bad at remembering things like that. And you can't see the stars very well in the city. Oh. That's sad. I thought you were the kind of person who would know about the stars. Why? That's a good question. Why did I think that? I don't entirely know myself. It's because her skin looks so pale under the moonlight? Maybe, but that's not it. Then is it because Noelle is such a quiet person compared to Amu, and quiet people usually seem to know a lot of interesting things loud people don't? <laughs> that's a fair assumption, I guess. Amu, who likes to thunder through the forest and catch interesting bugs in jars, doesn't know what those bugs are called. She doesn't care. But somebody like Noelle, who seems so serious, so focused, who can draw such intricate detailed pictures, looks like she would know about and notice those small things. But that isn't it either. It's because Noelle herself reminds me of those stars. So distant and far away, hardly ever talking to anybody. Lonely and isolated. That's what I think. But I don't know how to say it. I have no idea. Words are too difficult. Much too difficult for me. I just hope, by being with her, I'm able to make her feel less alone. I want to stay by her side forever. We're always going to be best friends. Oh! Uh... <laughs>
<laughs> now that is the ending. That was a very good ending. Wow. <laughs> I really like that one. Yeah. That was that is awesome. I think yeah, that was definitely looked like a flashback of their like how they the foundation of their friendship mm -hmm. and along with Amu, but it was just it was just about him and Noel and that it's was clear that he likes Noel more and that's why I'm like, dude, bruh. He definitely related to relates to her more, but Amu is more like more of the uh, energetic, outgoing, like outgoing mouth type. person. And I mean, Achan likes her, but not like that. It feels like he's more like attuned and relative to Noelle because she's quiet, reserved, and she's so focused on her duties and mm -hmm. whatever she's into. And Achan he respects in that, and yeah, he thinks on his in his head so much. And Noel is kind of like this, is pretty much the same way. So, yeah. Man. I'm definitely Team Noel. <laughs> Team Noel? Yeah, mm -hmm. I ship it. Team Noel. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so. That, that is great. Okay, now, yeah, okay, the second one was much better than the first one. Yeah. The first one I liked it, but. At least we actually got an ending this time. Like, a real ending. Now I just gotta figure out a different path to take and off of that one and. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, we get to start over in the next one, so yeah. Enjoy. <laughs>